Hello, everyone, and welcome back to episode two of Chasing Kojima. Joining me again, as always so far, is Zach Schneider from Save Data. Zach, how are you? I'm doing great. I've got got my very own D-Dog in my lap here. We're having a good, good, good afternoon. Nice. I couldn't fit my D-Horse in the room with me, so he's just <laughs> out back eating oats. Um, I was really afraid you were going to do another kept you waiting or something, and you were going to embarrass me, but you didn't do it. The lolly lolly though. Lolly lolly low. Um, <laughs> let's go fight on top of that. What what game? Uh, what building is that they fight on top of at the end of two? Mm, it's like, it's something like in New York. Treasury in New York. Yeah. Because I always think it's a not. I always think it's a different building. So when I'm in New York, I'm like, there it is, and then it's not it because it's something else. That's such uh, a good MGS two. Such a good game. I think it's the George Washington Bridge in the beginning, and I think yes. about that every time I drive over it, which yeah. thankfully isn't that often anymore, because that bridge sucks. It does um, suck. I've been over it a couple times. <laughs> Tappan Zee. Tappan Zee's better, um, which is nice, because when I go home to Massachusetts, it's easier to go that way, so I'm not forced mm. over the George Washington. Uh, I don't think but, I knew you are from Massachusetts. Yeah, I'm a Massachusetts boy. Mm. It's, uh, it's a living. <laughs> uh, folks, we are here because uh, the Death Stranding Director's Cut had a new trailer yesterday for us uh, in the Sony State, State of, play. of Play that was stupid. That's a different opinion you can go see on local chat. Yeah, um, it wasn't great. Yeah, it was not great. Uh, so we're going to watch this trailer. I'm going to put it on screen as well if you would like to follow along. And uh, we are going to watch it and then discuss it. And I have, uh, I have like the bullet point presser as well as like pricing information, all that sort of stuff. So let's go through it. You ready for this? Let's Zach? do it. Okay. I shouldn't be recording this uh, locally. So hopefully it won't screw over the entire recording. Mm. Um, okay. On the count, uh, I'm going to say three, two, one, go. And on go, cool. we'll hit play. Okay. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Go. Rated M for mature. Chung. I hope my mom doesn't find out. Once there was an explosion. <laughs> a bang which gave rise to life as we know it. Oh, Norman Reedus. Then came the next explosion. An explosion that will be our last. The definitive experience. <laughs> I'll be waiting for you on the beach. Remaster. Here's the thing. Honestly, because it's not a secret that I'm not personally like in love with this game. Yeah. Uh, I would actually be curious to see this on the PS5. Like, assuming there's like ray tracing and shit, I imagine walking through the world would look really pretty. Yeah. In 4K. I it looks I almost bought it on PC a couple times because I thought it looked so good so mm. I, I, uh, we'll get into pricing but if, with, with, with what I'm seeing I'm definitely gonna pick this up on the PS5 for sure you got laser guns oh, mounted look at that this is like yeah. completely new things a lot of there's actually a lot to, to and they've even got the, the like VR missions yeah style thing i'm i'm ian mentioned this yes or maybe it was i might have been david yesterday on local chat that if they just put in a mode that's like hey skip all the story stuff you can just go do deliveries and stuff in like the biggest world yeah um like i'm hoping that since i beat the game i can just go do that you don't um, have to do the first 10 hour section which yeah. kind of sucks man some of the stuff looks dope yeah the ramps are cool the circuit Oh man! Looks awesome, actually. Uh, even though the racing, like the driving, isn't super fun because you really only got no. to drive on the tracks. I imagine it'll feel cooler. Oh, Guillermo! New story missions. Yeah, see, this stuff looks interesting because it's new environments completely. Was that was that Master Chief? Yeah, they're putting Master Chief in it. <laughs> it's, this is part of the uh, the the deal they have with Xbox. Yeah. Kojima. I know I pronounce it wrong. I know it's Kojima, not Kojima. But listen, yeah. I'm a Westerner. I say Yakuza every single time on the podcast, hoping Ian will try to correct me. But he never mm. does. Because wow, I know it's Yakuza. Yeah. But uh, oh, I do not want to watch Next Landers Here Decay Gone Tomorrow, Episode 1. Thank you, YouTube. Um, 
so that was it. What did you what first impressions going into it? Um, it's more just stranding. I mean, again, it, it's the thing where like because well, one, this is definitely you, you said this is going to be a seventy dollar upgrade. It is, so I will go over pricing now. Mm-hmm. Um, the PS Five edition will launch on September twenty fourth for fifty dollars. So not Honestly, seventy dollars after after the Game Awards. I'm surprised Kojima's not uh, releasing it on uh, September eleventh. <laughs> Oh, fuck the Oscars. Uh, And (laughs) if you already own the PS4 version of Death Stranding, you can upgrade Mm -hmm. to the director's cut for $10. Fuck, okay. See, that's good. Mm, You know, I was going to be like, there's absolutely no way in hell I'm getting this, but for $10. I know. I was probably going to get it at $70, but for $10... That's the price of my Starbucks order this morning, so like I could do that and just not have breakfast one day. Yeah, um, or splurge and do both. I do both. Yeah, I deserve it. Um, you do deserve it. It that's a good deal. Okay, especially because uh, last week I think it was they they gave us details on the um, uh, Ghost of Tsushima director's cut with like the bonus stuff. Uh, and if you if you've bought it already, you still have to pay thirty bucks essentially to upgrade it, uh, which it includes a whole bunch of DLC. But this looks like it does too, and you get the upgrade for just 10 bucks i'm like okay that's a good deal kojima you got me again <laughs> um, um yeah that's I, I don't believe anything's coming to the ps4 version so uh you have to have a ps5 to play this um, yeah which kind of sucks I, it would be cool but i'm assuming a lot of that stuff is tied in directly with the power of the ps5 um so i, I doubt they even gave it a thought to do mm-hmm ps4 stuff um so that is the pricing breakdown now with the sony official playstation blog um i'm just going through what they kind of bulleted out here uh which is a lot of speak i wish they would just like dash it out you know Mm -hmm. um oh this is this is a line that kind of scares me the new um, content isn't simply bolted on. It's been carefully woven into the core gameplay experience and will be made available through discovery as you play. Most of the new content is easily, fairly easy to find, though there are some bits and pieces that will take some time to find and unlock. Uh, uh, I mean, for me, I would imagine that's like, okay, the, the ramp thing we saw, you'll probably get that around the same time as you get the bike. Uh, yeah. You'll probably get like a lot of it at the same time, but then like, the the rocket cannon thing like that might be harder to get uh i'm i'm very much hoping that my save carries over and i can load in i I can't remember if you're still around after the last mission i don't even remember how that game ends uh yeah (laughs) you you love this game don't you (laughs) uh after it ends there's still there's like a post game where you can like continue to do shit if you want um but that makes sense I, i i didn't uh um okay so sorry the other line here is great uh they confirmed that half-life and the cyberpunk 2077 content which i did not i do not remember the cyber cyberpunk content introduced in the pc version will be available in the death stranding director's cut which is kind of cool um uh yeah wow i totally forgot about that i forgot that even came up oh here's here's some good stuff (laughs) it would be really funny if this came to the PlayStation before Cyberpunk actually got back on the PlayStation store. <laughs> that would be amazing. Like, oh, you can experience Cyberpunk on the PlayStation in Death Stranding, Death, Death Stranding Director's Cut. <laughs> uh, we want to ensure that players, no matter where they are in their journey, could pick back up relatively in the same area as they left off when playing the PS4 version, while also enabling players who have completed the game the ability to jump to the areas where new content and equipment can be discovered. Boom. That's okay. exciting. I'm okay that's a with good, that. That's well worded, then. Um, and here at the end, they have PlayStation 5 features, experience environment effects with the DualSense wireless controllers. Uh, that'll be interesting to figure out. Uh, I yeah. bet uh, if it has, like, the rain stuff, that'll be kind of cool. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I, real, real talk, uh, really quick, what do you, you – you have the PlayStation 5. What do you think about the DualSense controller? I'm, I'm into everything it does. The triggers still weird me out. Um, when it like half locks yeah i feel like ratchet and clank didn't do it very well like Mm. it it felt too 
loose. Like I, I never knew quite if I was doing the half pull or the full pull. Um, gotcha. But the uh, what was the Astro Astro's, Astro's Playroom did it really well. And yeah, those are pretty much the only games I've really played. Blew my mind. Um, I really want to get into a uh, Returnal because the word is that they do that well um, there. But yeah, I've, I definitely I, want to check I that. Out. I haven't yet. touched Demon Souls yet. Uh, it's on the list, but it's skippable. Yeah, it's the I most just beautiful game I've ever is. played. It's the most beautiful game I've ever played. But yeah. damn, it's infuriating, and I love yeah. Dark Souls. Yeah, I've I've never touched Demon Souls. My friend was obsessed with it back in college, mm. um, so I just want to check it out. Um, sound effects for 3D audio with the Sony headphones. Uh, I'm gonna buy those someday. Fast load times. The load times weren't too bad in original Death Stranding. Honestly, for what it was, yeah, they weren't too bad. Um, um, and then performance mode with upscaled 4K and 60 FPS, and a fidelity mode in native 4K, and then ultra wide and HDR support as well. Hmm. Uh, the upgrade path uh, adds. Oh, there's like a deluxe edition with in game stuff. I really don't care about that sort of stuff. Um, and that was it. I, I'm trying to see who wrote this article. I kind of wish oh, they head had of a publishing thing. for Kojima Productions wrote the article. Oh, okay. Let's say I, I kind of wish they had a thing addressing uh, all the the shitty menu stuff every time you're trying to go in and out of um, one of the bases because I feel like that is like one of the most egregious things about the game. Um, obviously, at a certain yeah. point, you just you just give up and just you know it's uh what is it how I learned to stop caring and love the bomb kind of situation where you're just like okay whatever. This is just how this game is. I'm going to be in menus for three hours. Uh, but with the announcement of uh, the Twilight, not Twilight, Skyward Sword remake mm-hmm. this week, they were like, hey, we're getting rid of a lot of the shit that people hated about the menus. And I was like, oh, thank God. Um, it would have been nice to see that for this, but, uh, you know, it's it's a more recent thing. And I'm sure, I'm sure part of the reason that is the way it is is because of uh, Kojima's vision, but... I, yeah, and, and I wonder if there's stuff they're just not mentioning that they fixed up. Um, it could be that too. It could be that too. But you definitely I, check I'm, it out. I'm assuming this isn't, <laughs> um, isn't a huge thing. Yeah. So uh, the other thing I was gonna say. Uh, so yeah, there's there's this article doesn't really mention all the stuff, but like they they added the ramps, the cannon. So it'll be really interesting to dive in and see all that stuff. Um, actually, when I was in New York City over the weekend, I saw book two of the Death Stranding. Uh, novelization. Um, and so I ch- oh, checked. What? Yes, there's a Death Stranding novelization. It's in two and it's books. Made it, it's in two books. That's what. That's more of what I'm like, wait, really? Yeah, it's pretty good. Um, we, uh, I have found them on, on Amazon. They're only like six bucks each, so I oh, might wow. order them and do some sort of book report on them uh, if I decide to. Uh, Shame I you work with the class, Willie. <laughs> I read one sentence of the book so far, and it already explained more about Death Stranding than I think the game ever explained. Well, the the problem with the book is there's a or the game is there's a certain point where like you get a bunch of those like text articles or, or no yeah the, some of them aren't even aren't even voiced they're just text and they're so long and they get dumped on you at, like at like big amounts at a time and I was like man I just want to get back to walking can you just yeah. Can you make this a podcast version for Sam Fisher, Sam Porter Bridges? God damn it, I did it again <laughs> to listen to <laughs> Psychonauts. But they didn't. Psychonauts um, too. I I also hope they add it so when you play music, it plays while you're walking. Because didn't it not do that in the initial one? Yeah, like um, like there were some really odd choices where I was like, video games have done this. Yeah, and everyone you universally agrees this was a good move, and you didn't do it here. And I don't yeah. get that. So, like, yeah, I see what you're saying. Like, the menu stuff and those little changes, I wonder if they will be there. Mm-hmm. Um, I certainly hope so. Uh, but, yeah, keep on the lookout for uh, when this comes out. We'll probably do at least a video on it or something uh, with Chief sure. Kojima. Uh, checking out all the new stuff uh, as well as possible book report. I'm not promising anything uh, because, honestly, I really don't want to do it. Uh, I think that's it. Um, we covered, there was that petition stuff, but we covered that on the last episode with the Xbox mm-hmm. letter of intent. 
Yeah, that's um, hilarious. So yeah, director's cut, folks. Keep an eye on it. Uh, that has been today's episode of Chasing Kojima. Kojima. Chasing Kojima. Oh, um, I, I can't. Gotta uh, get that Kojima! <laughs> I know. Um, we have a Twitter. I set up a Twitter uh, only because it was did. available. So twitter.com slash Chasing Kojima. Uh, there's also twitter.com slash subpixel team, twitter.com slash save data team. Uh, check out all of our content. Uh, anchor.fm slash chasing Kojima is where you <clears throat> can go download this stuff. I believe we're on all the podcast platforms now except for Apple. I haven't gotten the email from that. Anchor mm. does everything for you, which is fantastic. Um, so uh, keep a lookout on for that, but it's on everything else. Um, I think that's it. Oh, you can also, I haven't set up monetization yet, but you can eventually support us if you're into that sort of thing uh, and want to give us money. Uh, I'll think of a way to split that. Uh, For now. Call me. Yeah, I'll call you on the codec. Uh, For now, Ah. this has been another beautiful episode of Chasing Kojima. Zach, as always, thank you for joining me. And folks, if you hear any Kojima rumors or anything... Please feel free to uh, DM the Twitter account with your Call the Co- Chasing Kojima hotline at yeah, 555 chasing- Kojima. Yep. Do it. Do it. You can do uh, will at subpixelfilms.com. I'll put that in email out there. Uh, just send it right to me. It'll be great. Okay, everyone. We will see you next time.